the Lord and we greet you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We are so elated that you have chosen to spend your Sunday worship experience with us. On behalf of our pastor and first lady, the ministers and members of Beulah Refuge Tabernacle and First Refuge of Barnwell, we say welcome. Service will begin momentarily. We invite you to like and share this live stream service at this time. We also invite you to be active in the comments to give praises to our Lord, encouraging to the worship leaders and the man of God as he brings forth the word on this morning. Thank you, Father. Father, thank you for that, Father. Because of the 
know where. He knows all about it. When the changes in our lives, the stages of our lives, it did not catch him unaware. He has already made provision for every aspect of my life. And I can give his name to praise the Lord. And God bless you. Amen. We want you now as our sister Benjamin comes and give us our offertory directions. And we will come back with the blessing of our Lord. In Jesus' name. Thank you. Thank you. Let us all look to the Lord. The gracious and eternal of our Father, it is in the blessed name of your Son, Jesus Christ, that we come, dear Lord, to say thank you. We recognize you as the great God of heaven, the creator and the sustainer of all life and of all existence. For without you, nothing is. Nothing ever was or can ever be without you. We thank you now, Father, for you being our God of provision, our Jehovah Jireh. And as your people come today, I pray, God, that they give that gift. They want me to go in. Son, Lord God, our black, they want me to go in. Son, so our public increase. Thank you. 
takes his hand, places it back in his robe, takes it out again, and his flesh has returned as well. He is showing Moses that I am giving you the confirmation that I'm sending you Moses. Moses said, I'm slow of speech and slow of tongue. So I can't be the spokesperson. So until his faith, Moses' faith, Heaven is the gives of Heaven. And so Heaven becomes his spokesperson. But God gave him a question to Moses. Who has made the mouth of man? Have not I, Lord, the witness? So for a period of time, Aaron was the spokesperson when he approached him. And with that Pharaoh's feet, that he cast a rod down to show Pharaoh that. The I am has sent me to free my sons. So he cast it down the rod, the rod turns to sleep. To sleep. You know, the Pharaoh magicians took the rod and cast it down and they turn to sleep. So Pharaoh wouldn't impress. Yeah. And you know, it was. Moses wrong. Moses wrong that consumed the snake, that consumed the magician snakes. The Pharaoh was not impressed. And many times God had to show Moses that he won't let the people go. Oh God, he won't let them go. But I'm sending you back to to request the release of the Hebrews. I wish I had a friend in church. But he had a child ser servant called Moses, the greatest request. Did you say that you saw me? The word Lord comes from the Hebrew word for Lord. It was where it means a brothers. A whole school of himself. Moses saw God bring out the Israelites with wealth, gold, and silver. And in spite of these mighty works, Moses still cried out to God, saying, Show me your glory. Well, yes, he saw the plagues, the turning of the water to blood. He saw the frogs, and the Israelites did too. The flies and the livestock and the pestilence and the boars and the hail, the locusts and the darkness and the death of the firstborn of children in Egypt. Amen. Somebody said, Thank God for the blood. Yes, that can take us now because we're still under the command. Thank you, Jesus. So here it was Pharaoh that finally let the go when his firstborn son died. And it was Moses and Aaron that had come to request the release while they were in mourning. All this is what Moses and the Israelites saw God do. I wish I had a privilege. church. And here, he still had a hunger for God to say, show me that glory. Somebody said, what more can he do? Oh yes, but he wants to do more for us. He saw the plagues touched the Egyptians but in Bosha, 
they had the best land. They, had, they had suitable crops and livestock, and none of the plagues were there. Amen. We know, amen, it was Jacob's son, Joseph, that was second in command, amen, to take care of his brother's emotion. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Gosha, amen, means in the natural, it was a land and a place of plenty. Amen. But in the spiritual, it's a place of plenty and comfort. For the descendants of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and his sons and their children, amen, the word that God had given Abraham had surely come to pass. Amen. His descendants shall go into a strange land, and afterward they shall come out with great substance. Oh, yes, the, the length of the time to fulfill his word was about 430 years. Somebody said that's a long time. Many generations, amen, had died, amen, in Egypt. Oh, yes, amen. The Pharaoh that Joseph knew died. All the favor he had with that Pharaoh died. Oh, yes, but thank God, amen, the promise. Amen. That God had given Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Amen. It could not fail. Amen. It passed on to generation to generation. Amen. To the appointed time to come out. Oh, yes. I wish I had a friend in church. Amen. Show me thy glory, Lord. Amen. Amen. And here. You know the story how they exit. If the exodus means to depart. And hear how they prepare to leave. Amen. Egypt. Oh, yes. A pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night. Amen. They had God guiding them from the start. Oh, yes. Moses and the Israelites saw all of this. What God had done. They saw the favor they had living in motion. I wish I had a praying church. Amen. So it was at midnight. Amen. After the angel of death had went through the land and killed off all the firstborn of every house that wasn't under the blood, all the livestock of the firstborn died because. Of the destroying angel that moved through the land. Amen. And here they were coming out, amen, with 600,000. Some say there was possibly more. They were exiting Egypt. Oh, yes. They were exiting, amen. They were coming out of the tough times that they had experienced before. Amen. Some of their kin folks died in the mud pits of Egypt. Uh, amen. Building the pyramids. Amen. For the Pharaoh. Uh, I wish I had a praying church. Uh, some of their relatives were, amen. Amen. When they were requesting certain things, uh, Pharaoh made them search for straw. Amen. To make their own bricks. Uh, but I'm so glad when they peripherated. Amen. It was fear that was in the hearts of Pharaoh, so he explained them. Uh, amen. But it was God's word. Amen. That the favor was on his own people. Uh, amen. And here they exit Egypt, leading by the pillar of cloud by day and the pillar of fire by night. Uh, and it was here that they met their first obstacle, which was at the Red Sea. Amen. And there was a real test for Moses. Uh, amen. He should encourage them to go forward because he has seen what God has done with his rod. Uh, amen. And when he cried to God, God said, Don't cry to me. Use what you got. Amen. I wish I had a praying church. Amen. It took the rod. You know, 
the story is stretched across the Red Sea. Oh God, God showing his glory at the Red Sea. Oh yes, you know the story how they eventually cried, crossed on dry ground. As the eastern wind blew all night, they began to, they began to make the muddy waters and the muddy ground solid. Oh yes, uh, this God that we serve is an evil God. Yes, yes, yes. Oh yes, show me that glory. Uh, oh yes, and here, and, and you know the story when they crossed the Red Sea and on the other side, they had the sea closed on the Pharaoh and his arms. Uh, they had they died. And Mary grabbed the tambourine uh, to rejoice uh, with them over the enemies that had been consumed by the Red Sea. Uh, oh, yes, it was Mary, Aaron, and Moses. Uh, amen. They were leaders and amen, the people of God. Uh, and when they went into this desert place, uh, they had silver and gold. They had everything. They had good health. They had everything working for them. But amen, they ran out of food and water. Uh, amen, they ran out of two necessities. Amen, and this was a showing amen, that they should have had more faith in God. Uh, that he will make a way somehow. Uh, even in a desert place. Uh, Oh yes, can you go with me? Uh, in the desert place, uh, they searched for water fishing. Uh, and when they found water, uh, it was bitter. Uh, isn't that depressing? Uh, they thought they had drinkable water. Uh, and they named the place Mario, uh, which meant bitterness. Yeah. Uh, amen. And then God showed him. Uh, Amen. Go forward and they found the fountains of palm trees in the wilderness. Uh, about 70 of them. Uh, and they found water there. Uh, but they could not stay there. Uh, they, could, they were on a journey to Canaan land. Uh, for the best was yet to come. Uh, so they had to keep on moving. Uh, amen. They ran water again. Uh, and the Lord said, Moses, uh, can you imagine God uh, leading Moses through a desert place uh, to find drinkable water uh, to a Pacific rock? Uh, and when he found that rock, he struck it uh, with his rod. Uh, I wish you had a praying church. Uh, oh yes, enough water for everybody. Uh, Oh yes, livestock and all, uh, 600,000 Israelites, uh, it was surely enough. Uh, uh, and when they grew hungry, uh, I said, man, uh, uh, he is the always sufficient one. Uh, oh yes, uh, from heaven, uh, bread that never seen it like this before. Uh, when they wanted to meet in the wilderness, uh, God sent some quails their way uh, that fell out of the sky. Uh, he's an awesome God. Uh, he's true to his word. Uh, and here they see all this. Uh, oh, yes. Uh, Amen. They could have gone in Canaan uh, on a level day trip uh, from Egypt. Uh, but when they got there uh, and the spies saw uh, all the giants in the land uh, and they saw the seven nations that were entrenched there, uh, they died. Uh, unbelief all of the whole nation. Uh, they hold a whole nation. Uh, even Joshua, amen, and killed. Uh, they had faith. Uh, 
I would hear the story uh, that when they crossed over, uh, when they got into the wilderness uh, and got the food they needed uh, and got the water they needed, uh, they met here. Uh, here is Moses. Uh, I kind of got a hint of myself. Uh, Back up a little bit. Uh, is when Moses went up to the promise. Uh, he was home uh, to talk to God. Uh, I wish they had a free church. Uh, go along. Uh, out the Father. Uh, they're standing in the middle of prayer. Uh, this people, Lord. Uh, they're standing in the middle of prayer. Uh, they go with me. Uh, and then Moses uh, he took off his shoes uh, as he did before uh, because he was on holy ground. Uh, and when he was on holy ground, uh, he stayed in the presence of God. Uh, and it was there. Uh, he got the commandments from God. Uh, and when he came down, uh, he was this. Uh, Aaron had built an altar. Uh, and the people were worshiping uh, a little bit of uh, But when they looked on Moses, uh, they couldn't look on him uh, because the glory was on him. Uh, he had to put a veil. Uh, and the good thing about it is that uh, Moses didn't even know uh, his face was shining. Uh, I wish they had a praying church. Uh, and he was asking God, uh, show me uh, my glory. Uh, what an experience uh, he had already. Uh, what the Israelite has had already. Uh, with this awesome God. Uh, oh yes, uh, his shoulders to the right. Uh, as the deer. Uh, Thanks for the sweet the war. Uh, so much so. Uh, Thanks for you, my God. Uh, my soul thirsts. Uh, so God, uh, this is what uh, Moses had. Uh, a thirsting uh, for the living God. I uh, feel that creature. Uh, oh yes, uh, I'm here to let you know. Uh, they had 430 years. Uh, they had finally gone. Uh, oh yes. Uh, when the departure was over, uh, they should have remembered uh, that we couldn't get out of Egypt uh, until God freed us. Uh, they should have remembered uh, that we were back uh, the first uh, when we were starting the wilderness. Uh, it was God that uh, sent the little food uh, that we needed. Uh, you are giving some praise. Uh, you are giving some accolade. Oh, yes. God has shown himself mighty. But in a certain test, come to the truth. The way now and occasion. And all the kids. Amen. Elijah. Oh, yes. Restored worship. You know the story. Call fire uh, from heaven uh, bring that glory uh, showing uh, that it's God uh, the Lord God is God uh, and not be you uh, and he's going to bring you church uh, and since he called fire from heaven uh, Elijah's name is great now uh, the story is uh, have you heard about what Elijah did uh, but a woman, uh, a queen, uh, a man of life, uh, still a threat. Uh, I'm going to hang his head uh, uh, tomorrow. Uh, and I have to forget uh, uh, the fire that soon the altar. Uh, and all the water that was there. Uh, he forgets all about that. Uh, and he runs to a cave. Uh, I wish I had a great church. Uh, it was him. Uh, and God sold uh, his glory. Uh, 
the ocean high. I see nothing in high. Do this high. Do this and this is in high. And I just said, look again in high. And you look again in high. And I see the size of high.